Here we're assembling more of a traditional baklava. So we have the leaves, the phyllo dough leaves, and then we alternate them with melted butter with the oil mixture. We drizzle that on the phyllo leaf. You can also brush the uh, butter on the phyllo leaves. our um, phyllo leaves with our alternating with melted butter. Layering your baklava for the traditional baklava, you're going to do about three sheets at one time for each layer. And then, of course, you're going to put your melted butter on. And then basically what you're doing is a sandwich. After you've used half of your sheets, you're then going to sprinkle your chopped nuts and then continue your layering process with the phyllo dough and butter. <coughs> going to sprinkle your nuts and again you're going to sort of make a sandwich and the nuts are the sandwich filling and then you're going to layer the top of the nuts again with the baklava leaves you can use two or three baklava leaves at a time alternating with melted butter layering your baklava and before you bake it you want to cut through the layers so it's easier to cut and serve once it is baked. Traditional baklava, we are, you could see that the re one reason that you also pre-cut it is so that the simple syrup can penetrate into the baklava better by having the cuts in the baklava. And you could see it's just soaking in the simple syrup. This will be absorbed once the baklava sits. The syrup's been added to the baklava. The final touch is putting some finely chopped nuts on top it could be walnuts, pistachios, just about any nut, hazelnuts, but it adds a very nice finishing touch.